Hey guys, super quick teardown video today of the just released in Spielning smart plug. This is the uh, model with built-in energy monitoring. Um, there's also a cheaper one, uh, which is called the Tritact, for, uh, that only switches on and off. This one here, um, it's slightly more expensive. The Tritact retails for seven euros. This one here is 10, so it's three euros more. But this has the very interesting feature of measuring your energy consumption. So I just came back, I haven't tried it yet. So we're just gonna do a quick unboxing. Uh, there we go, thick manual uh, we don't, that we don't need, and this goes away. So um, fairly small, not the smallest, so it may probably collide with uh, other items if you put it in a power socket, um, in a power strip, sorry. Um, single screw, uh, I actually do have the uh, Tritact, but it's not here. So um, one of the curious things that I wanted to know is how much difference there is between the two um, because I think they would share most of the components so the security screw is not very secure there is I think some clips that we can uh, remove it's actually already slightly popped open from this side so this may be the best point of entry maybe Let's see. Okay, there we go. Nope. Okay, there we go. So, same construction. Um, there's a shutter mechanism here for the two prongs. Um, there's a cover that we can remove and the two screws that hold the uh, PCB in. They also glued um, this heatsink here to the to the chassis and this heatsink here is actually live um i think they do it for um for the relay um to to keep it cool basically um this is rated for three kilowatts so that's probably a precaution um but then again it's it's live so we can measure it later but that is um it's live. So at first glance, it seems identical to the cheaper one. Um, this, I think, this is a, um, a fairly large resistor. I think this is for voltage sensing. Uh, I already took apart the other one, so I had an idea of uh, how to do it. There is far more glue than the last time, but oh, I'm not going to defeat by that. Okay. So I think if we push on the prongs, yeah, off it comes. And um, there it is. So what we have here is basically the um, the radio, which is uh, Zigbee, just a single radio module that is uh, vertically stuck into the PCB. Uh, there's also another board here, which just has the buttons and um, LEDs. On the front, um, we have the uh, power plug with uh, live and neutral. We have, uh, well, there are some differences actually. It is a different PCB, huh? Um, I, I would like to have the other one next to me, but the, the there wasn't a resistor here and there wasn't even a jumper. So this is the current sensing resistor. It's right here. And um, they're doing it on the uh, neutral side. While on the live side, um, I think they're sensing the voltage. There is, um, so there's this big resistor here with a trace that goes down. There is a VR here, which then goes to two more resistors that then goes up and then goes again around the corner. Again, another resistor. And then this IC here, which is the one that will be uh, in charge for the current and uh, voltage measurements. You can see right here. Um, I will try and get, uh, I think there is like, um, they, they probably put some coating on it. Um, you can you see how shiny it is. That's probably because they put some conformal coating on the PCB. So, um, they also covered the, the part number for this IC. So I'll try to read it uh, off camera. And then, uh, if I can find it, I will post uh, the, uh, data sheet in the description, but, uh, extremely simple construction. Um, 
as I told you, this, this is the heat sink and it's right on the, um, it's right on the live. So of course here it doesn't, for us, it doesn't matter uh, because we don't have uh, keying in the plug, but for other countries, uh, this would be uh, strictly live and this would be strictly neutral. So um, the construction is, is not that, uh, it's not that bad. Of course, I need to test it out. Uh, I don't have instruments for seeing how precise it is. So uh, unfortunately I cannot do a full on uh, review on this device, but it's incredible that Ikea can make a, um, a smart energy monitor, so something that can, tells you, that can tell you how much power you're using for uh, just 10 euros. And you also see how simple it is to build. So ideally, if you want to integrate this into another product or another device, it's just a matter of uh, taking it apart, which is non-destructive. And um, you can unsolder the, um, the plug, which is right here. Then you have a fairly flat PCB. Of course, you have the heat sink and uh, the relay in the way, but uh, this would actually, um, I, I would need to check the size, but I think this would fit in a, um, a DIN enclosure. So you could probably take this apart and mount it in a DIN rail if you want so, because uh, it feels like, it, you, you, maybe you need to shave a little bit, but it feels like uh, the, the size of a, a single DIN module. Um, I'm looking if I have a tape measure or something here, but it disappeared because I would have loved to see if it was the case. Uh, there it is. So ideally, this would be a little bit more, like uh, you, you would say like two and a half centimeters. So that's about the, 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 the thickness, the height of the, of the PCB. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, quick teardown of the freshly released IKEA in Spielning. And... Uh, well, you can take it apart. We can put it back together, actually. <laughs> it's super simple. So they just put the plug in here. This would align with the holes right there. It's just a matter of screwing in. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take it apart again because I need to check the IC. But yeah, as you saw, super simple build construction. So you can take it apart uh, and put it back together as you wish. Okay, it's been uh, going on for longer than I expected. Thanks again for watching and uh, see you soon.